Oh hey there lads, my name is Lossie, thank you again for checking out one of my videos. Before we dive into the conversation, maybe tickle that subscribe button. I'm planning on flying us to Mars with the next rover, so you might want to get in on the action. In today's video, we have quite a chunk of Battlefield 2021 news to get through. It isn't often I get to say that, so I'll savor every syllable spoken today. Everything I'll be speaking about is confirmed and comes from this article here. I have it linked below in the video description in case you'd like to give it a read for yourself. Criterion Games is back on Battlefield, DICE Los Angeles is working on the live service and overall, EA has once again reiterated that the next game is far ahead on its internal milestones and goals. A bold move for Battlefield. Catchy title of the blog post, maybe not quite for the right reasons, as many would argue that Battlefield should avoid being bold or different with the next game. But however, let's not look into that too much. Criterion Games, based in Guildford, England, who many of you may recognise as the studio behind Battlefield 5's Firestorm Battle Royale mode, is back, working with DICE on the next Battlefield game. They are ramping down production on the new Need for Speed game, which is now set to launch early next year instead. With EA's acquisition of Codemasters, the team behind the Dirt series as well as the Formula 1 racing games, there's clearly less of a drive to release a new Need for Speed that'll probably only compete with EA's new games anyway. Rather than cannibalise sales of both racing games, they slow down production on one and use the extra resources to favour their top shooter instead. DICE LA have been working on the next Battle for Game, for over a year, according to this EA blog, apparently focusing on the post-launch content and support. If this is the case, then Battlefield 6's live service may actually be more fleshed out and full compared to that of Battlefield 5's. DICE LA, let's not forget, took over support for Battlefield 4 and really turned that game around with the amazing content they released. Of course, it's a three studio effort now with different teams working on different aspects of the game at once, but still, it's reassuring knowing DICE LA has post-launch covered, as many would argue that it was there that Battlefield 5 really fell apart. Of course, Pre-launch things were interesting for Battlefield 5, but the lack of proper content for months on end just drew players away, especially when compared to Warzone and Modern Warfare at the time, and how often it was getting new content and weapons. EA shared that the initial draft of the new game's trailer is actually circulating inside DICE, which tells us a lot. Historically, now is roughly when the media team at DICE starts their reveal trailer. It was the case for Battlefield 1 and Battlefield 5. Hopefully, this time around, things will go more in the BF1 direction and the trailer will highlight the team's clear design direction and show off the actual game, rather than the BF5 route which was clearly influenced by numerous key characters internally with contrasting visions of what the game should be. Regardless, the DICE media team is pretty much best in class and I'm sure the trailer will melt the internet one way or another. I highly doubt we'll see another Battlefield 5 style reveal as both EA and DICE are still licking their wounds after that one. In the end, as I said on Twitter, there's pretty much two ways you can take this news. On one hand, you have someone like me, someone that understands the risk of covering Battlefield as a full-time job. Someone that realises things may go sour again, but remains as positive as possible. But maybe it's just naivety. Having multiple studios working on one game is something other franchises have done for years. Call of Duty, for example, has several studios behind each game. Battlefield has generally opted for a single studio per game, so ideally more studios means a better product at the end. With DICE LA covering the live service, at least we'll have a steady flow of content to look forward to after the game's release. Not only that, but maybe bug fixes can be addressed sooner rather than later. 
Criterion stepping in six months before release is definitely weird, but maybe they're tasked with delivering something completely new months after launch. Firestorm 2.0 maybe? There's nobody better than them to do a sequel. The fact that DICE have already reached the alpha stage of the game is incredible. Even in Battlefield 5's case, the state of the game I first played out at EA Play was considered pre-alpha, so yeah, it's a good sign when DICE are this far ahead. But there's also the other side of this road. The more sceptical take on this information. Not necessarily negative. These people aren't just hating on the game before we know anything about it. They're just hurt after Battlefield 5 and won't let DICE off the hook that easily. They'll need more convincing. So, more chefs in the kitchen is never a good thing. With multiple studios all working together, something that is uncommon for a Battlefield game, at this scale at least, something is bound to go wrong. Design direction was a major issue with Battlefield 5, so what's to say things won't be 10 times worse when you've got two other studios chiming in? Live service, Battle Pass, Tides of War, we've heard it all before. Just pre-made content that sits in the game files for years and is slowly drip-fed out to the players. People are not a fan of this. Why bring in Criterion to work on a mode that'll probably just die on arrival again? Firestorm is Royale, but the majority of the player base don't really care for Royale. Battlefield doesn't need this bloated content, just stick to what people like, a proper sandbox multiplayer. And finally, even with DICE claiming to be ahead of internal milestones, EA said the exact same thing about Need for Speed just a few weeks ago, and now look, they've delayed it. Despite telling investors how great it was going, they stopped working on it. Who's to say they won't do the same with Battlefield? Two sides of the same story, both very valid opinions. I'd love to hear what you watching have to say about all of this. So share your thoughts in the comments below. Right now, if you want my take, be excited, but be cautious. There's nothing wrong with being excited. Nobody has the right to tell you otherwise. They can call you naive or stupid, but maybe you're just a glass half full sort of person and they're not. Nobody is right or wrong. Wait a few more weeks until we get the game's name at least, what the setting is, what sort of gameplay it'll have. And even then, keep your wits about you. Like I said in the past, until you're actually sitting at home with the game loaded into your console, avoid judging it because everyone and their mother has an opinion on this game right now. But anyway, thank you lads so much for watching. If you enjoyed, massage that like button. Or if you didn't, well, hit dislike. Make sure you're subscribed for more Battlefield from me. But until the next one, I'll see you lads later.